Right, we're looking at angles and parallel lines in this video. I'm going to mark, I've got a set of blank parallel lines here with no angles marked. I'm going to mark that angle. Now, if I do everything from the point of view of that angle, then um, it should be all right. Now, there are certain properties you're supposed to remember the names of. Now, depending on where you are in the, um, uh, you, you uh, may have to remember them and quote them. You may not. Um, but you might as well know them now. So if I look at this angle here, now that angle there is not, is alternate to the black angle that I marked originally. So that's alternate. All right, please don't put alternative, alternate, and that is equal. All right, to the black angle. All right, the next one I'm going to mark is this one. Right, so the red one is corresponding. Right, these are all names that you are supposed to remember. Right, that is also equal, and if you just look at them, they look equal, don't they? Let's be honest. All right, the other one I'm going to mark is this one. Okay, and that is what's known as supplementary. It used to be called allied, I think, in my uh, mentory. Um, uh, and that adds to 180 with uh, the with the, um, uh, the black angle there. All right, so they're essentially the three uh, you've got to remember. There is sort of one more that comes up quite a lot, and that is this one, all right, here, which goes there. Now, that would be vertically opposite. They come up quite a lot as well. Vertically opposite, and again, that's equal. All right. So there are load. There, there's essentially four you've got to remember. Um, you might be able to work them out. I mean, just looking at them, they look equal to the black angle or add to 180, don't they? Now, if I'm looking at this question over here, all right, I've got one angle marked. I've got a whole load of other angles that I've got to find. So I've got. Um, I'll just change the colour of my pen. So, so I've got X. I've got Y and I've got Z. Now, what what I often say is when you've got something like that, and if it's just literally two parallel lines and a transversal, it's either the answer's going to be 65, and I'm going to work out the other angle next to it, 115 there. Okay, so essentially if I've just got that sort of situation, my answers are either going to be 65 or 115. Okay, they're not going to be any different. You've got to be a little bit careful in some situations, but initially, with this one transversal, that's a line that cuts the parallel lines. Right? So, looking at them, X would be 65, and that, if I had to give a reason, would be vertically opposite the 65. All right? Y would also be 65, and that would be, if I had to give a reason, corresponding, and Z would be 115. Okay, now you, there's various ways of doing that. It's either angles on a straight line uh, with Y, or it's corresponding with the 115 that I've marked, or it's supplementary with um, with the X. I mean, Y is alternate with X. So you've got various different ways. You just need to remember that terminology.